scarlet blaze, the maiden's peril. When he learns of the Empire's struggle, Dimitri decides the time is right to strike. He moves swiftly to drive the Empire out, toppling one unfaithful Western Lord after another. Finally, he descends on Aryan Road, seat of Count Roe, the first Lord to betray him. Thus does Edelgard's army begin another grueling march to rescue a different Count. We've been here before. But we were in such a rush to rescue Lenato that we never got more than a glimpse of Aryan Road. Can't really appreciate the scale that quick. And now we're back to bail it out. Only if Claude hadn't hatched his futile scheme. We could have avoided all these needless battles and saved countless lives. Yet, in a more positive light, he handed us the perfect opportunity to show that not even the Alliance and Kingdom together can match the Empire's strength. Once we crush the army of Fargus, our superiority will be clear for all to see. And will that actually result in fewer casualties going forward? Because that is what would put Her Majesty's heart at ease. I will make no guarantees for matters beyond our control. So long as fanatics are willing to die for the Central Church, casualties are inevitable. Uh. We broke the Alliance's siege, and we can break the Kingdom's too! We're lucky it's a stronghold like Aryan Road that's under siege. It shouldn't be half the nail-biter we had to deal with last time. Yes, but last time Count Burglies was in command. For all we know, Count Roe will break like a twig and surrender the moment he hears the first soldier crest the hill. As I see it, we have two options. We can take a direct path for Aryan Road, or we can wait until we scatter the Kingdom troops that are fanned out in the north. It is a most vexing decision. As a professional at staying holed up, I think we should secure the perimeter first, and get rid of as much danger as we possibly can. Time is important. We should be striking fast and hard. We're gonna have to deal with the North after we free Aryan Road anyway, so it makes sense to clear them out now and get it over with. Let's keep both options open and see how the situation unfolds. General Randolph. Yes, Your Majesty. I commend you for holding Orion Road with what few soldiers you had. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am unworthy of such praise when I failed to prevent the siege. Coordination with Count Roe proved difficult. It was all I could do merely to keep the enemy in check. That alone is commendable. A more foolish man would have rushed to glory and gotten himself and his underlings killed in the process. I have a key role for you in the coming rescue, General. I know you were up to the task. Of course, Your Majesty. My brother and I will give our all. <coughs> Very good. But do not let your eagerness for victory come at the cost of lives. We have many more battles ahead and must conduct ourselves accordingly. Hey there, Edelgard. Leafing through documents, are we? This is new. Yeah, completely out of character, I know. But one of these reports has been stuck in my mind. Back when Count Roe declared fealty to the Empire, other lords committed to doing the same, right? But the moment we left and the Kingdom Army marched south, it fell right back in line. It's like they never betrayed Fargus in the first place. Good memory. That's exactly what happened. Houses Elidor and Duval both made overtures to join the Empire. 
So why is the kingdom welcoming them back without so much as a wrist slap? Is this another House Gloucester thing where the politics demand it? Seems like their importance as noble families outstrips the fact that they're all two-faced liars. Politics are doubtless involved, but the heads of houses can change, as they did with Gloucester. We're not bound to place importance on any one individual, only the bloodline. So the kingdom's aristocracy gets the same free pass as the alliances? Yes, and the empires as well, even though I do my best to treat everyone equally. I cannot afford to slight a minister's house, for example. They broke fealty to the former prime minister when they swore it to me. Would you call that treachery? What makes it different from the actions of Count Gloucester? Greed makes it different. And I'd say betraying someone for money is lower than low. That's one way to look at it. I agree that what matters is the reason behind the change of heart. Was it for land? For status? To exact revenge or seize glory? Because I view a betrayal for any of those reasons to be utterly worthless. Yeah, money and vengeance are pretty shallow motives. Though, that's why I'm here. I'm not talking about mercenaries. I'm talking about lords. Each of their decisions has the ability to upend the lives of thousands, if not more. Only a person with the character to realize that is truly fit to lead. I've worked for plenty of nobles in my time. Until now, I couldn't have cared less what it means to actually be one. But then you gave me responsibility over all these soldiers, and it... Well... I guess I'm starting to see the world in a different way, and the people who live in it, too. I see. I admit your grand designs sail clear over my head sometimes. Most of the time, actually. But that's why I stand by you. I feel like one of these days, something important's gonna rub off on me. And I feel the same. You've opened my eyes to all manner of things I might never have seen otherwise. You are a commoner without the fetters of a family name, wielding your sword directly for me. That's more valuable than you may realize. What's up, YouTube? It's your Lord and Savior King D353 here. In an episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Hopes. In the last episode, we helped Count Berkeley's get out of a tough spot be in between Regan's army and. Actually, just Regan's army. In this episode. Well, firstly, we apparently have a support conversation. <laughs> Who do we got? Who do we got? Ah, Caspar and Petra. We're finally going to get into this drama. And that's the situation. Now put your head down and see it done. Leave it to me. I can do this blindfolded. And don't neglect your night training. You'll be a wreck in the morning if you don't put the hours in. What kind of lazy jerk do you take me for? Of course I'd never skip my training. Very good. Well, I must be going. It seems you have a visitor anyway, so farewell. Wait, a visitor? Oh, hey, Petra. <laughs> Sorry, were you waiting for me? What can I do for you? so good angie <laughs> i am well you have my thanks for your concern you sure I, I can walk you to the infirmary i think professor manuela is in actually no i am well do not be troubling yourself <laughs> if you say so i do caspar 
I was not realizing that your father was visiting. Yeah, he dropped by to talk to Edelgard and some of the others. Guy's so busy he hardly stays in any one place for more than a few hours. I must be remembering that. Oh, you have some business with him? No, not yet. Uh... Hey, sorry, but <coughs> did you need me for something? Huh? Oh, um, Edelgard is needing you. I was coming to tell you. She appeared quite upset. Her composure was almost lost. Wait, she's mad at me? Oh, no, I totally forgot she wanted to see me. Thanks, Petra. You're a lifesaver. No, she's not. You're still going to die. One day, I will be having revenge. <laughs> Leopold von Burgles, you will be ruined the day you stole my father's life. They really upped the quality of the models, because, like, they only ever emoted in portraits, but you could actually see Petra's model getting angry, or getting relieved, or calming the f down. Do you have a moment? I confess, I'm more than a little relieved that things have finally settled down in Regan. And that is... And that's to say, nothing of my relief that we didn't lose Count Barclays in the bargain. <laughs> However, it looks like we need to keep... <sighs> looks like we need to keep a careful association with Claude moving forward. Yeah, Claude's a tough nut to crack. Definitely not someone you want to test, strategically speaking. I agree, but rather than repeatedly finding him to no avail, perhaps our best option is... No. Now is not yet the time. It appears that King of Fargus himself has come to recapture Aryan Road. The outcome of this battle will likely contribute heavily to the balance power between Adrusty and Fargus. I look forward to success in your parts, but I also trust you'll look after Her Majesty. This is the kingdom we face, and there will be no end to the rogues with, who will seek to claim her life. My, wow, my Hubert voice has really dropped off. Not like it was ever that good to begin with, mind you, but still. As it happens. I thought Count Roe might turn back the kingdom more readily, but instead he mounts the Stout offense from defense from the castle. Perhaps he possesses some backbone after all. Oh, I agree. Especially when you consider the situation with Count Gloucester. I believe that Matt had his own reasons, but I understand what you're trying to say. Do you know what the Kingdom and the Lions possess that the Empire does not? Perhaps my question is overly broad, so let me just get to the point. I refer to the hero's relics. Get ready to be schooled! Relics are weapons handed down from, by the nobles of the Kingdom of the Alliance, who descend from the heroes known as the Ten Elites. Er, yes, well, actually I'm surprised that you possess such a detailed knowledge of the matter. In any event, relics are such powerful weapons that it's said that a single one equals the might of a thousand ordinary soldiers. Such as what makes a face-off against the kingdom and the several and the seven several relics in their possession. Thing is, for a long time, I cared about I cared about all I cared about was being just like my father in every way and then surpassing him. But now I know that's not enough. I mean, there have to be people stronger than him, right? Actually, you might be right. And besides, true strength comes from all forms and shapes. See? You get it. Still, I set a lot of goals for myself, so I know it's going to be a long road ahead. Amazing. Aryan Road, huh? Sure wish I was an invincible fortress. I could lock myself away forever. Still, I wish there was 
no such thing as- I just realized I misread that horribly. I wish I was a fortress! <laughs> Still, I know there's no such thing as something being truly invincible. I mean, even Count Berkeley's loses on occasion, right? Which means it's only a matter of time for Aryan Road. That's not good. We ended up facing against Geralt's mercenaries again, Regan. Regan. It's almost like there's some fateful connection between us and them. Let's see. Maybe, although they don't seem to have any particular grudge against the Empire. Could just be a coincidence. I'd be grateful if that was the case, but as they say, what happened twice will surely happen thrice. D do they say that? I don't think I've ever heard that expression before. We must speak. I grow stronger through battle. Combat experience really is being the greatest of teachers. Hunting beasts and hunting people are different things after all. They certainly are different. Let's just hope my skills are stay as sharp as yours. I am not doubting at all that you can. Even when tinged with sadness, her face remains as splendid as always. Still, I wish I could do something that might bring her joy. If only I was smarter. Or stronger. Or both! Well, I'll just do the best I can with what I've got, and I'm hoping you'll do the same. Oh, no. Lenato and his forces lead, lead the vanguard to Aryan Road. He'll be quite familiar with Aryan Road, seeing as House Rose's residence. Lenato is very important to me, as is everyone else in the Kingdom Army. And I don't want to whine. I really don't. But I also don't want to fight them. Greetings. Hmm. I find myself relieved that the Battle of the Alliance has come to an end. Though I swore fealty to the Empire, it is no pleasant affair to be thrown in war against former comrades. I would rest far more easily if the Alliance and Empire were to be united. Hmm. Hey, you never know, right? Yes, I am certain that if their interests were to align, they would not hesitate to come together. Nice. Ignots! We're fighting on the same side! I'm sure I'm more excited about this than before. Excellent. I'm excited too, Raphael. But hey, how are Maya and your grandfather doing? Great as usual! That's why I'm fighting, so they can keep on living a good and happy life. In that case, let's fight as hard as we can so we never have to be the opposite sides again. Uh, reuniting besties by kidnapping. Hello. Let's see. I capitulate to the Empire, which might actually give my father a greater peace of mind. You see, House Ardelia has for some time declared their inclinations to swear allegiance to the Empire. But in my father's heart of hearts, I knew he wanted to join the other lords of the Alliance and fight against the Empire. We once faced cruel treatment at the Empire hand, so I was fighting in his place. Hmm. You don't seem to like the Empire much, so why fall in with us? Are well, I'm never curious about Edelgard, so... Ah, uh, no. Please forget that part. I'm a su- Actually, no, let's- let's check. Lysithia, you have a support of Edelgard again, don't you? Oh, you don't? Well, now I'm curious. Who do you have supports with? <gasps> Ferdinand Von I- <laughs> This is my new goal. Ferdinand and Lysithia, I need to know what they talk about. I absolutely need to know. I don't care what she has to say to Hubert. <laughs> oh, goddess. Ah, excuse me. Do you need something? Ask about her faith. 
The Empire is working to annihilate the Central Church, yet faith is clearly important to you. Are you really okay with all of this? I feel a bit conflicted because I accepted the doctrine of the church of the central church simply as a matter of course. But as long as I can still pray, that is enough. God, please forgive me, because I'm about to rip your religion a new asshole. Amen. <laughs> okay, so Never in all my life did I think I'd run into somebody who could take on outhalst. I know about this Berkeley's guys. He and Halster are bla so blasted strong they don't even seem human. But Berkeley's has a crest, whereas Halst doesn't. So if that comes out to a draw, it's basically a win for Halst, yeah? Either way, I sure don't want to tussle with either of them. Whoever thought the almighty king of grappling would be afraid of Halst. Have you heard the rumors? I hear there's someone else in our ranks who wishes to see their house restored. You mean Randolph? Randolph, is it? I see. Tread lightly, Randolph, for I have commented you to remember your name to memory. <laughs> oh god, run, Randolph, run. I shall not be outdone by you, by you, dear fellow. I will see my house restored first. I didn't realize house restoration was a race. House race duration. I know I'm not funny. Listen up. Going back and forth in the mountains remind me of my hometown. Haven't seen anyone there in a long time, but I think I'd be the. I'd like to head back someday. It's in the middle of some great mountains. No wait, some great forests. Eh, it'll come to me eventually. We have more troops than ever now. It just goes to show how important this battle is. But on the other side of that coin, it will doubtless lead to ever lo ever greater losses. You sure? Then it's a good thing we've got fel fellow folks like you to keep our numbers intact. <laughs> Still, we have no choice but to be realistic and face the day as best we can. I find your calm reassuring. Um, I'm sorry if my voice acting's really off today, guys. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired either. Apparently, the energy is just drained from my body. But I also know if I keep posting... Genshin, those looking for things like free houses will be disappointed. So I'll muscle through it and try to give you guys good content, I promise. I suppose. I don't care about Fargus personally. But I do have family there. I heard they are fighting for the kingdom. On the battlefields, they are our enemy. Never would have thought I'd hear about family from you. You talking siblings or what? My mother and my sister. They are all I have. The lives of enemies and allies means nothing to me. But I could not bear to lose her. Hello there. I felt my recent performance to be lacking. <laughs> Nonetheless, her, f f I <laughs> her majesty honored me with praise, and now my heart is full. Perhaps if I continue to cure meritor 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 meritorious deeds to my name, I'll be permitted to establish a house. For my family, I will do whatever it takes. Oh, so you are just Constance, but less insane. I don't even remember what the fuck your voice is, Flash. Uh, you couldn't give a lie for me to know what your voice is? Ugh. I'm so glad Her Majesty praised Randolph's efforts, and it seems like he received the reward, too. I remember works incredibly hard for our sakes. I want to help however I can. Hold on, Randolph. I'll help you. I swear it. What is it? What is the matter? Having second thoughts? Don't worry about it. You're human after all. Little wavering is only natu natural. Trust me, I will guide you to the right answer. 
Oh, this is interesting. Alright, so normally how this would work is that I would just go up, do the first mission, and then do the path to the boss. But there's two re possible required paths. There's this one, which will instantly get me to where I need to go. And there's this one, which would require two maps to reach here. Alright, since the first episode's always one anyway, I'll do this one today. And then next episode, I'll show you the alternate path in case you want to take that instead. So these three are going to be the ones that I show as the quote-unquote required stages. And this and this will be ignored as extra stages. And is this a challenge map? No, it's not. I don't know why I thought it was a challenge map. Ignore me. 29. 28. So it's slightly more difficult than this map. I highly doubt it'll be more difficult than this one. Alright, sorry. I'll actually focus now. Okay, reclaim the stronghold. The stronghold in road territory has fallen to the kingdom army. We take it for use as a foothold from the which to reinforce to reinforce Aryan Road. S rank is love and sword and just being it regularly gives me activity points. Here we go. Anyone hoping to walk? Here I go. Edelgard no killed the horsey. For anyone wondering why I have two underleveled characters here, the idea is that they're energized, so I'm taking the risk. Anyway. You're gonna move up there. So Edelgard will be able to take you, right? Alright, Bernie. Attack there. Let's take over Edelgard. How did you see that? You're across the damn map! I have no clue how Balfus and Lawrence are doing as well as they are. As underleveled as they are, they should be getting fucked. But they're somehow doing great. I, I'll take it, I guess. Sure hope 
I played as Bernie so much that I'm running out of people to beat up as Bernie. Messenger, and you're going down here. Where's Bernie Bear? Bernie Bear's there. Uh, who's in the best position to get there? Edelgar's the farthest away, so clearly not her. I'll say Bernie. Also, what type of weapon does the messenger have? Gauntlets? Yeah, I want Bernie to do this. Okay. Goodbye. Balthus, who said you could go there? No charge. Go there. Just leave it to me. Bernie. Go there. And where's Edelgard von Horesfeld? Did Here I what? Go. No mistakes. Everyone to me. Advance. That's a really weird line for opening a chest. That is indeed a situation I have now see Edelgard in. And then these guys. So Bernie, Bernie you time go time. there while Edelgard takes sure care of her business. Okay. And by Edelgard, I mean me. In my way. You're the best 
the required kills are done. It looks like Edelgard took her treasure like she was supposed to. Alright, Brony, time to end things off. Good night. We managed to pull through. Oh! Love and sword. Seems like fighting is all I do these days. Future is ours to make. No oh, I was hoping I'd get a level up there. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. I didn't think I could get any stronger. Love and sword of my S. Where's my treasure chest reward? Did I not tell Edelgard to open the chest? Oh, whatever. Oh, there's my chest reward. Okay, I'm dumb. I actually just realized I'm supposed to end the episode here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Hopes. If you think I deserve it, you can donate to me at buymeacoffee.com slash kingdfree53. For as little as a dollar, you can join my personal Discord. We can chat, share memes, play video games, have a grand old time. Like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, I'll show you guys the other path directly to the boss. Deuces, YouTube.